the my period doesn't stop me woman is a dangerous myth. And I, for one, am tired of it. We've all heard, seen and read those lovely advertisements on TV, radio and in the newspapers about the women who climb mountains, run marathons and all sorts of wonderfully active things whilst on their period protected of course by the superabsorbent technology of their preferred pad or tampon. But let's be honest with ourselves, that's all a big load of bull. I'm sure there is a handful of God's favorites out there that don't have crippling period symptoms or conditions like endometriosis etc., but the bare as truth is that the majority of people who endure periods and I use the word endure very intentionally can be found under their covers, hot water bottle in one hand and painkillers in another. So it leads me to ask why are sanitary product companies so keen on portraying the worst week of the month in such a way? At first, I chalked it up to optimism. Perhaps these writers' rooms are filled with people who feel the need to showcase the best possible side of something that's not at all glamorous. As time went on however, these ads began to feel a little more nefarious. Imagine me, a woman who can't even sit still an hour in an office when her time comes around, having to hear an ad about a woman not letting her period stop her from accomplishing that 5k of hers because she's got the right pad. As if a pad can suppress the stabbing pains, bloating, irritability, nausea and diarrhea that comes along with those lovely influx of hormones taking a toll on the body. Now a new question rises who benefits from these portrayals? Certainly not me, and certainly not other women in less forward-thinking parts of society. It is lovely to see that around the world, period leave is being implemented to varying degrees, but for someone in my neck of the woods, that's a far-off dream, and I believe these ads play a role in that. Whether we realize it or not, they project a certain image that people absorb as truth women can do anything on their periods if she can climb a mountain on hers, surely you can sit behind your desk for eight hours? Add this into a society where reproductive education wasn't a top priority until some decades ago and still has a ways to go, you get the perfect breeding ground for lots of uneducated and uninformed opinions and decisions that do not benefit the same people these pad companies advertise to. Dear company execs and maybe advertising agents who might just read this, do us all a favor and cut the crap already. From the flip side I grew up thinking that debilitating periods to the point of passing out were normal, because periods are supposed to hurt be uncomfortable. It wasn't until I was in my early twenties that I learned that no, periods like that are not normal, and medical intervention can make them more tolerable. Now my medicated period doesn't stop me from living my life. Let's not normalize living with debilitating pain. That normalization of just living with the pain kept me from seeking medical treatment, which made my quality of life so much better. I don't know how accurate it is to say that most women have crippling pain. In my friend group of six women I am the only one with very painful periods and the only one who feels ovulation pain. So, there's that. While I agree with what you're saying, I think the corollary would be worse. Imagine a world where every menstrual product had showed women missing work, unable to perform normal tasks, being grumpy. I'd get pretty darn mad at being portrayed as weak and incapable. If I have to have the advertising world pick one or the other, I'd rather have the narrative that someone on their period is just experiencing normal life. I wouldn't say the majority of women experience crippling pain unable to function. Yes, there are medical conditions that cause those issues, but your period shouldn't stop your daily life. Yeah I agree, I always found those ads annoying. The last thing I want to do on my period is go rock climbing lol. Especially when I have to change my tampon every 3 or 4 hours. The cramping for me it's pretty bad too. It got worse lately now that I'm in perimenopause too. I just want to relax and eat chocolate. I have massive migraines through my period and I'm overly tired. I can sleep 16 h per day. Nothing stops me from sleeping. I ran 5 miles yesterday on my period. I was a full minute mile slower than I was 2 weeks ago on the same route. It may not stop me, but it sure as hell slows me down. My period doesn't stop me but only because I stopped it. I take a monophasic pill continuously so I only have about 4 bleeds a year. 
My periods weren't even that bad pain-wise however dealing with the fatuage when I already have fatuage issues is a killer. Also bleeding, even withdrawal bleeding rather than an actual period makes my depression worse. Those adverts irritate me, but so does I'm sure there is a handful of God's favorites out there that don't have crippling period symptoms or conditions like endometriosis etc. Apologies that I only get cramps when I don't get enough veggies. Etta removed a stray is. Yeah I'm glad I don't have to watch a little trickle of blue stuff neatly fall on the dainty pad so carefully when the real thing is like a waterfall soaking a thick as a brick pad in seconds. SMH. Um, I never had pain on the level OP is describing. I guess I'm one of God's chosen. I do have a lot of sympathy for people who do have that level of pain. I've had loved ones who do have it, and I do what I can to ease their discomfort. I agree that these ads don't accurately reflect what periods are like, but advertising is basically a form of propaganda it's not intended to honestly portray real life. Who benefits from these portrayals? Certainly not women, that's not the intent. The intent is presumably to implant the notion that this product will make your period easy which of course it won't but advertising isn't honest. I don't for a moment think that ad execs choose to portray periods this way because they think it's optimistic or empowering. Wow guess I am lucky. The only things I have is breakouts and that my period is extremely strong on the first two days. Like super ultra tampons can barely sustain me two hours. Kinda annoying but that's it really. From what I see, the normal period, what you should have, is one that is pretty darn inconvenient, good reason to become irritable, but not so bad you can't do shit when it comes to anything. It should be I can still do this, though it's definitely quite bad. If you're lucky enough that it isn't at this level then very well, but if it's worse than this depiction see if there's something that can be done. Hard disagree here. This is exactly like whining about companies showing thin models as if no one is represented by a thin body. My periods are extremely light and manageable. I have no issues living my life regardless of my period. Your experience doesn't invalidate mine and the millions of women just like me. I had endometriosis, my entire period took place over 24 hours. I would pass golf ball sized clots and couldn't get out of bed. Had a complete hysterectomy at age 26. I'm 52 now and still being asked about my period and if I'm pregnant. Tuesday I had my gallbladder taken out and the hospital performed a pregnancy test. If they'd just sell opium soaked tampons again I'd be a lot happier waiting for my hysterectomy. You need to see a doctor. The majority of women do not have crippling pain monthly when they get their period. So, because you have a problem, you extrapolate it to your entire gender? I always assumed the intent of those ads is to counter the widely held belief that women can't be trusted to carry on normal life while on their period. Go check out the rhetoric surrounding every female presidential candidate. I'm sure there is a handful of God's favorites out there that don't have crippling period symptoms or conditions like endometriosis etc., but the bare as truth is that the majority of people who endure periods. Wow, speak for yourself maybe, OP. Sorry for being one of God's favorites I guess. Can we stop doing this divisive suffering Olympics bullshit please? I'm now on day 3 and I pray for quick death. Endometriosis is a bitch. The single best thing I can do for my health is not have a period. And not because I bleed for weeks at a time, no no I am fortunate enough to have grown out of that hell. It's all the other debilitating conditions that come with the period now. It's crippling, my body does not tolerate my own hormones. Why are we made this way? There's nothing I did to cause this but reach puberty. I endure thanks to modern medicine only, how did we survive before these times? In the ads, women are always wearing white pants for some reason. 